As I mentioned before, uh, many of you that have come to our home here at 1158 Erie Street East uh, of Windsor, I might have given you some free seeds and I'm also, I've also might have given you some information on how to grow your own seeds uh, through the different uh, systems that, that are available in stores. And maybe some of you don't have any idea on how to do it. So what, what I decide is to give you a, a, a very small life demonstration. But before I do that, I want to bring to your attention these small packages. This, as you can see, one is called the um, butterfly weed and the other one is called butterfly uh, Milk. milkweed butterfly. Now, there's a lot of <laughs> misunderstanding from some of these companies uh, that put the seeds on the seed stands of our big stores here in town, uh, whether it's a hardware store, Lowe's, uh, Home Depot, or what have you. Uh, while the flower looks like a radish and the name it says milkweed butterfly it doesn't necessarily mean that this envelope contains the seeds of a butterfly weed. A butterfly weed should look like orange, uh, orange yellow type of flowers not as red as these. And when I read the back, this happened to be a two-year-old bag that I kept. Um, it says Asclepia curassavica, which in English means it's called tropical milkweed. This is not a perennial. This is an annual. Uh, and, and in my opinion, the description and all the, the pictures are misleading the buyer. The other one is a true butterfly weed, uh, Asclepia tuberosa, that's the botanical, botanical name. We also have our French name, as you all know, Canada is bilingual. And this one has already been planted by some of the nurseries that I gave seeds to, and this one turned out to be a true butterfly weed. Now, some other uh, box stores carries another company, it's called Ontario Seed Company. And here it's listed, uh, again, uh, Asclepia tuberosa, or butterfly weed, which is the true one. The other one is called the common milkweed, which are the bigger plants that grow all over the place. And this one, of course, is the um, swamp milkweed, botanical name would be Asclepia incarnata. Everything is Asclepia um, in the name of the botanical uh, milkweed native in North America but then the English word changes from one species to another just to make the people um, to simplify the people the name of the of the seeds now planting seeds is probably one of the easiest things that I found after I got involved with this three years ago but again with the monarchy was only two years ago in the winter of 2017. I've done some indoor planting after I read all the instructions on the internet uh, to find out that actually you'll have to spend hundreds of dollars now in uh, growing lights and, and then you gotta have a fan and you gotta have the, the right the humidity in the room. And literally, you gotta have a little mini greenhouse inside your own house in order to grow these indoors. And, and by the look of the price of the bigger plants that are selling right now all over uh, our big stores or small vendors, or what have you, nurseries, uh, it might vary from $8.99 to $15.99 per plant. Uh, because we set a goal as a group in the beginning, and many of you remember, and maybe have read it in the, um, in the post that I made, that we want to see at least 100,000 milkweed plants planted in Windsor and Essex County. So I came to the conclusion that the only way to do this, it would be by getting uh, the members of themselves involved in doing their own growing in the easiest possible way during the best time of the year.
which is May, June, and even part of July. Now, before I got going with this two years ago, my friend Guerino here, and you can, <laughs> he doesn't have the shovel, but let me tell you, this guy, he can dig uh, common milkweed out of a gravel, out of uh, uh, clay, like you would not believe. And the reason why we were forced to remove some of these plants, it was due to heavy construction areas, roads, uh, ditches, and literally there were times when we had to stand in front of a bulldozer. I was holding the bulldozer uh, driver while he was digging the plant. This is what happened sometime. Uh, you, you can't stop the progress of any city, of any town, when, uh, when they decided to do some construction. So we removed a lot of those plants. And my idea back then, because I was, I, I was new uh, into this thing, I want everybody to have bigger plants in their backyard so that they can receive eggs and provide the food for the caterpillar and so on and so forth. But then I realized that with the group growing, uh, after I formed the group back in January of this year, 2019, uh, with over 300 people, I figured, hey, there's not enough big plants around, you know, to, <laughs> to satisfy the everybody needs. So I had to uh, reinvent myself, and this is when we started giving the free seeds to local nurseries in order to grow some of these plants, as the one that we had on the table just before, uh, Louis can point it out after. These are literally plants that were planted in March, because if people don't use heat inside the nursery, they could only do it in March. And thanks to their effort and trying, at least we have a, a decent amount of plants that right now are available to some of our members and some people that perhaps are not members, but it doesn't matter. If they're looking for milkweed, that means they're interested in helping the monarch butterfly. Okay, so basically, by doing this, uh, we kind of enlarge the, um, the avenue of availability of milkweed plants to anybody that needs them. But then something else happened, <laughs> you know, it's strange in business how things uh, change fast. <clears throat> some of these nurseries, as you probably know, if you visit some, you know the thousands of flowers that they have. Um, so maybe due to the lack of time and maybe due to uh, different, different reason of their own, maybe they didn't, just did not see the potential or the demand for, uh, for milkweed, they kind of dedicate more time to their flowers where there's a market for it and there's a profit. Uh, because of the milkweed, it is a weed after all, they decided not to sell it too expensively. Some are selling them at a, as low as $2, uh, up to $3 locally here in our city and county. So for $3 a plant, having maybe only a couple of hundred plants available, to them, it might not be much, uh, but nevertheless, for us, it was a good start because I see by the results, a lot of members have visited some of these uh, um, nurseries, have already purchased some of the milkweed, and some, as I understand, as this morning, May the 20th, uh, already received eggs on perhaps an older plant, right in Amersburg, not too far from here, uh, and, and, and so it does work. Now at this point, <clears throat> again, what I'm going to show you is very simple, a simple way that you can do during, uh, uh, like I said earlier, even April, you can start in April, unfortunately this April has been lousy, but it, normally if it gets warm enough between the end of April and in May, you should have these plants ready <coughs> to receive eggs and provide the food for the monarch caterpillar by and the May, early June, when they get here. And uh, basically what we do is, we take now in the stores, and in any store, you'll find some of these, the little plugs, the jiffy, that you can use if you like those. Uh, there's also 
a, a company, McKenzie here, that provides a bigger flat with the dome on top. The dome is also provided there. Uh, and for the simplicity of the demonstration, I just picked one here at random and I put a little um, potting soil inside the, some of these plugs, as you can see. Now, this is what nurseries usually do with just about everything. Sometimes they might use something smaller. These are the plugs. I love these because they take less space. You can fill all of these with, uh, with uh, uh, potting soil. And then all you do is you take a seed. Let's see, let's do the Asclepia tuberosa, the butterfly weed. Since everybody loves to see the little reddish flower, I think I'm gonna take my glove off. Otherwise, okay, thank you, Verino. <laughs> This and do something myself too, you know. Yeah, Get a yeah. use. Okay, give me a few here. Okay, that's good. Okay, these are the seeds. They're very tiny, as you can see. Oh, okay. These are the seeds, as you can see. These are the butterfly weed, the Asclepia tuberosa. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put just one dropper in the middle is I'll try to sand it as much as I can, but it doesn't really matter where it ends up anyways, because it will germinate and it will come up. Okay, so we got this six here. Well, this one will throw them right over there. Now in this bigger one, you could also use two, if you don't want to crowd it uh, with three or four. One on each corner, and this will do the smaller rectangular pots. It's okay, put it back here. Now at this point, all you need is a little bit of topsoil again, or potting soil. You cover it just about maybe a quarter of an inch. If it's a little more, it doesn't matter. <coughs> the, only, the only way it's not gonna germinate if you go below one inch. If you make it too deep, they'll find a heart to sprout and it's going to take them forever. Now the dirt, mind you, was already soaked with water before. At this point, all it really needs is a little spray to moisture the top. Give it a nice healthy water spray. And this one is ready to go in the sun. Where's the cover? Oh, the cover is underneath. Here I have it. The dome, perfectly fit. I use a paper clips to hold it together, or you can you can use an elastic on both sides. Now the idea of the dome, as you probably read through the instructions, that, that pointed out, we have the uh, drill holes in there. No, 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 okay. no. This is only for the germination. So as I pointed out before, the idea of the dome is to keep the seed humid from not drying, and occasionally, once a day, you want to check and make sure that the the the, um, the soil is still damp. If or not, you give them a little bit of uh, more spraying. This one should pretty well be all set. In 30 days, you should have some of the plants that if Louis wants to. Uh, yes. As you can see, these are the two, three, some are four year old plants. This one actually, we picked it up at the uh, city, Lansbury Park, it's called here in, uh, in our own city. The city had a special plant sale, so it was only five dollars. I figured, hey, I'm going to buy it. Uh, this is a swamp, just for an emergency, you know, in case of some of the butterflies that might show up, and we don't have enough milkweed. This one is one of the third year plant that came back on its own. As you can see, they're all perennial. That's a common milkweed, and these are common milkweed also. I'm just waiting for eggs. I kept looking for eggs actually since yesterday, because uh, someone found a dozen not too far from us but anyways <clears throat> they will grow a little bigger eventually once the weather warms up 
and then I have some other backup that will eventually come up. Some uh, have already started sprouting. Okay, so as I was saying, uh, after you uh, you close it with the paper clip as I use or elastic around to make sure the doma doesn't fly away. Within 30 days, you should be able to have a plants just like these that they've been started indoor. Uh, I mean, not indoor, but in a greenhouse um, where the conditions were just as good as some of these containers. Now, this is going to be probably the best part of this whole presentation. If you fully understand the potential and the uh, the possibility of feeding armies of butterflies through the system, you might say, well, what would I want to do with 72 plants? I only need 10, maybe 20. I want to keep an extra 10 for reserve. Uh, the other 50, I got no use for it. Well, I'm going to tell you this, if you do this and you spend, these seeds, by the way, are sold in stores, you can go and buy them on any seed stand, they're $1.99 each for the common and the swamp, and $2.79 for, yeah, for the uh, butterfly weed, plus taxes, it's only $0.25 cents for one and $0.30 cents for the other. And then you also gonna invest maybe another seven dollars in one of these um, uh, flats or you can go to something smaller spend maybe four dollars what i'm saying here is that your total investment should not be more than 15 20 dollars okay this will allow you to have there's over a hundred seeds in the two and perhaps 40 to 50 or 60 I haven't counted the, uh, the, the butterfly weed because they're smaller. The other ones, they have over 100, 120 on each bag. So with, with 400 plants available by simply doing this in the summer where it doesn't cost anything and hydro doesn't cost anything and, and uh, messing up your indoor, it it'll basically will give you the advantage of uh, not only sharing them with your family and friends, if you don't like your family and friends, charge them a dollar. <laughs> you know, if you don't want to give them for free, uh, I'm sure everybody will give you a dollar for one of these plants uh, to put in their garden just to attract the monarch butterflies. But if all fails, and honestly, truth, I am here to tell you, if you are living in Windsor in Essex County, and you are a member of the monarch butterfly enthusiast of Windsor and Essex County, I will guarantee you that whatever plants you do not use, you give it back to me, I will be glad to give you a dollar for each plant. So out of the 70 here, or 300 here, if you grow these all together, and you're only gonna keep the 10 or 20 or 50, whatever you wanna keep, I'll buy the rest from you for one dollar each. Now, if that isn't enough, well, then uh, I don't know what else to think to, to kind of give you a hand and, and, and get you excited about growing your own milkweed. Because when it comes to spring, and if you, you grow into this venture that you are getting in now, and you're getting your kids involved, and perhaps uh, some of your family friends, you're going to constantly running from one nursery to a big store to get big plants where you could have done it the summer before and have the same big plants when the time uh, were needed like for the next season this is the whole idea you don't have to spend around eighty dollars to buy 10 plants to get the butterfly season off uh, you know by the end of may early june if you've done this, you're going to have those plants for pennies for yourself. So I hope this, I think it went a little bit too long. We're going to make more videos later uh, as far as showing maybe the setup that I have here, explaining a little bit more. I don't want to make it too long and too boring. But for now, just to understand the concept of planting as much milkweed as you can 
for yourself, for your family and friends, whatever left over, you call me. You call Leo the milkweed man, I'll come and buy it from you for a dollar a plant. And if that's enough, I'll give you even two dollars uh, if it makes you uh, even happier. But the idea is that I hope you will consider start planting milkweed and have a plenty of it around because Windsor and Essex County will be full of monarchs before you even know it. I'm going to close with this, uh, thanking again my friend Guirino and Luigi for taking this, uh, this time for the short video. Uh, thank you Luigi and we'll see you on the next one. As, uh, I haven't got much to say after the Leo presentation, they did a hell of a job. The only thing I have to suggest to you guys is, as like myself, when you do something, you get involved with any uh, new project or whatever, there's always there is that doubt if you do the right thing or uh, the, the right or wrong or whatever it can be. But uh, as a Leo, uh, you know, me and, my, uh, me and Leo uh, are uh, uh, able to, uh, to come to you if you need any help, anything, any question. Uh, and uh, please uh, don't be free to call us, we will be there. Leo's are going to be there over this butterfly, Monarch Butterfly Swallowtail. And I will be the worker, I'm going to bring my shovels, nice and shine. And don't worry about it, you don't have to do the work, you just will tell you where to put the stuff. And uh, have a nice day, we'll see you there. Thank you. Bye. Give us a call.